Hey guys, Johnny Roman, and look what I found. Another thrift store find. Oh, ho, ho. I can't wait to show you. This one was really cool for me. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. The military's taking over today. Special edition. <laughs> Let's get into this bag. Now these babies are fragile and I know they're not Hot Wheels, but they're very cool to old Johnny Roman. Hey, look at all this. Woo, doggy, I'm just trying to dump them out carefully. This is one thrift store find and one garage sale find. So I'm gonna start with the garage sale find. Look at this thing. Now this garage sale, all their cars have been picked over pretty well and this was in with the Christmas ornaments but look at this thing it winds up but it's plastic it's totally plastic this thing is vintage and old and it was a quarter <laughs> for 25 cents I love it totally love this kind of stuff because you don't see it. It's like this metal state truck. And again, plastic survivor. I'm sure all the red line Hot Wheels were sold off and gotten rid of and all that, but oh, I'm telling you, it was cool. The lady and man were cool. So here we go, $1.99. Ninety-nine. 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 And one ninety-nine. Now with these things, when I get the same type of thing in a bag and it's a dollar difference, I always ask. And usually they're pretty good at providing the lower price. So look at this. Is this totally cool? Oh, I can't wait to get into these things. I've had these for a while. I got my handy staple remover. You know, kids remember staples and plastic bags. Not good to play with. Oh, and Dano had a birthday last week. Totally rocking. Oh, they put the sticker over the staple see if we can dig it out yes look at that so Dano happy birthday <laughs> oh look at these look at these now Sarge I don't think you ever played with these these are way before your time oh but so so cool now this is a kind of independent thrift store that um, all the proceeds go to one place, not like Goodwill where the proceeds go to the owner's pocket. Oh, so look at this. Is this totally cool? Now, I don't know if it had a light or a turret or something up there or if it was just this. But this is a Roco mini tank. Oh, what does it say on there? Oh, you guys can read it. Made in Austria. These, man, my brother Mo had these as a kid and he handed them down to me. They're totally cool. And then my mom, oh, she gave them to my little cousin. He destroyed them all. Now here's some customization. They're adding some tanks on the back. The, uh, Tur turret is missing the, the cannon in it or the gun in it. Stalin. But look at that. Isn't that cool? These are lightweight plastic, highly detailed. Now, I know they're not Hot Wheels, but sorry guys, I love these things. Here's some more with the tanks. Now, I wish 
I was the one going in that bag. Now, here's the original color. See that dark color? So these were painted. But, man, if I was in that donation bag, <laughs> let me tell you, I would have been checking every corner and crevice for all those gun barrels and extra little tiny pieces like these that broke off. Now, again, you know, you good modelers can easily replicate those. Look at that, that is just so cool. Even with the turrets missing. <laughs> Again, I, I hit it as a memory, a great memory. Oh, let's see what we got in this one. Again, staples, kids, careful of staples and careful of plastic bags. Don't play with plastic bags. Er, er, er. There we go. Oh, look at this. <laughs> so cool. Now, there, there's a big, huge monster one in here that I don't recognize, but it looks like there's some pieces and parts in there. Look at this truck. Six-wheeler. Now, it's missing the cab and the windshield on it. But look, it's got the little trailer hitch on it. These are so cool to me. Oh, look, they're painting details on that. The red lights were painted in, and then the silver. Oh, I'm telling you, these things are fragile, and to find them on the shelf was unbelievable. So here's the gun that came with this. What's going on? Not quite sure. Almost looks like it fits in there, but it doesn't, and, and it's cracked. You can see that it's cracked and then you've got this piece too there's only one peg on one side the other side it doesn't it didn't break off oh here we go there we go see that that busted off right there So you've got the rest of the tripod missing, but still cool. Oh, <laughs> it's like one tank glued on top of another. Look at that. Oh, that is funny. Some customization, M60, DBGM. Made in Austria. Oh, the old model glue. Got a little, little breakaway. Sometimes you can add, uh, trying to see if there's any, like, like big glue wads or something. Oh, that, that is busted too. But that's a quick, easy glue. Interesting. <laughs> now this one is the one that oh here's a something painted gold something snapped off but this one I have no idea what it is made in Austria A Conqueror. Rocco. See, there's the logo. But again, it almost looks like they, they glued like an extra piece on there that wasn't supposed to be on there to make up their own tanks. 
kind of cool and kind of crazy. Oh, let's see what else we got here. Let's dig into this one. Let's see what we got. They put the price tag right over it so you can't pull the staple out because people rip these off and that's not good. They just punch a hole in the bag and just steal the ones they want and leave the crappy ones. And that's not cool. Oh, look at all those. Look at this. Half track. Very cool. Oh no, it's there. Pretty cool. It's got all the little ledges there. It's missing some sort of gun. Oh, look at that. He's got his own hook on there that he made so he could pull something. Oh, look at that. whack a lack a jack attack on those tires. Pretty wild. The Mach and Schlepper. Mach Schlepper. That is really, now it's missing the back wheels, no big deal, cause it's a, a half track. But I'm telling you, these things are the coolest thing for me. Oh, here's one that's complete. Nice. Now these are newer ones from the ones that I had as a kid. What is that? Someone knows what that is, a Russian something or other, Chieftain. Roco mini tanks made in Austria. Missing one of the tires and rusty uh, axles on that. But look at that. <laughs> this is one of the things that I just think are gold when you find them. You rarely find them, especially complete. I've got like boxes of these that are kind of broken up and smashed up. Here's another truck, true hauler six-wheeler it's got the painting on it done Roco painted out there made in Austria upside down little whack-a-jack on the tires or the axles there but that's okay got two trucks very cool <laughs> now I <laughs> so I'm guessing this turret does that fit on there? No, uh, it's slightly... Oh, look at that big crack a lack of jack a whack on there. I didn't see that. <laughs> I know you guys did. So anyways, here's one gun turret and barrel, which is pretty cool. Maybe the tank is in one of the other ones. Now this one, if I remember correctly, was a howitzer. It had a square... Uh, cab on there or, or turret on there with a tiny short little barrel Austria T98 oh, whoever put it together was just putting it together oh look at this now I have one of these with the gun in it still intact which is good. There were some little uh, pieces that came up here and came around. I forget what they were. I don't think they might have been machine guns for these turrets. But I'm telling you, as a little kid, to have these rolling across the bedspread all wrinkled up or your sheet all wrinkled up as the mountains. Pretty cool. M40 155mm. Oh, do you dig these things or not? <laughs> well, either way, I, I'm sorry. I love these things. These are like the coolest things ever for me. Probably because they were my brother Moe's and he had them and they were cool and he knew they were cool. And so, and then he gave them to me and I took care of them for many, many years until the cousin that tore them apart. Oh, good. This, oh, careful. Count the staples. Get all the staples. Now, 
I just saw a couple more tanks and pieces and parts of stuff and I just kind of grabbed them hoping that I could find extra pieces in there. <clears throat> oh, there are a lot of these type of tanks and all every single barrel is gone. That is crazy. This one doesn't have the big Splitosaurus Rex on it, so that's good. Stalin. Look at that, it's like six of these tanks. Uh, so, I don't know, 3D printer or aftermarket parts. Put it together. This is the actual color of all the tanks. And I never really painted my tanks as a kid because I was too stupid. So, I didn't know, I didn't want to wreck them. So I'd always kept them this color. So that color is really cool to me. But these could all be stripped down and repainted if needed. Oh, look at all these things. Is that crazy? Oh, and here, look at this. Oh, get that staple out. Don't walk around stocking feet with staples. Here's the pit area. Little house. Clyde's clams. Ooh, maybe that's Clyde Barrow's hams. Clams. <laughs> hams. <laughs> been a long week here we go into the last bag of these my friends oh. <laughs> okay all the staples stuck on the stapler remover and I can't get this last one of course but luckily it is the last one let me see if I can peel up that sticker there you go ha <laughs> ha gotcha gone so in this one I just saw that Jeep and I just I thought it would be cool to have the Jeep I was hoping it was a Roco mini tank Jeep but I don't think it is but that's okay let's see what we got in here we got an X-Wing fighter from Star Wars in mini size which is pretty cool I've got this Oh, that looks like about a one, what, 43rd scale? No, one bigger scale. Like a uh, gas station thing. These are all like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a gardening center. Oh, here's, here's Billy McGruff, the mechanic. Hey. Bring that over here. I think that needs a uh, new camshaft in there. I got my screwdriver here and I'm gonna fix that. Here's my tire I gotta put my leg up on. Oh, and look at this, batteries. Oh, that looks kinda old. Kinda cool. Here's the garbage can for this set, but in comparison to him that's like a super huge garbage can oh here's a little uh, Star Wars fighter holy smokes is that tiny but very cool to find and then here is this more looks like garbage cans is handmade toys made in <laughs> made in we stole it to take off the name Mar Toys <laughs> totally ripped off whoever made that and then here is the little Jeep looks like a micro machine sure is Oh, totally cool. Oh, so we got a little Jeep. Now it's smaller scale than the Roco mini tanks. But I've got this box, this model box. And I'm going to kind of rearrange and we'll get into this. Okay, hang on. I had to sneeze. <laughs> so I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. And I look in the box and there's not that much of stuff. 
but there's some paints in it and stuff, so I figured, well, let's buy this and see what we got. Oh my. I think that's it for the inside of this. Oh, we got a little leaker on that one. Too bad. <laughs> oh, that baby's dried up. So, X-Acto knife with a protector. Always have a protector on your X-Acto knife. Two brushes. Pretty cool. Oh, look at that paint, been sitting for a while. I wonder if you shake the life out of it, if it'll come back to life. Got some silver, some yellow. These might be too old to use. Gloss gray. Here's sea blue. Black. Flat black. Light tan. Flat. Gloss red. Oh, look at all those paints. And then a brush cleaner. Danger, kids. Don't smoke. And if you do smoke, don't smoke by this. Look at that, a dollar seventy for that. Holy smokes. And here's our green all dried up. You can see it all in there. Oh. So there's one sprue in here with some pieces and parts which could be good for who knows what. Oh, there's the other half of that tank, so that's cool. So you got a couple gas tanks or whatever those are, bombs. They were always bombs in my picture. Got some of these things. And so, <laughs> here's our instructions. Oh, how to do slicks, but this one doesn't have slicks. Hazagawa. Oh, those are nice kits. And this is a Hazagawa. Pretty cool. Here's your instructions. And this is what the plane would have looked like if all the parts were there with the instructions on it. Pretty cool. Those of you that don't build models, I'd check into it, except they're really expensive now. So here's the one tree we have. Here's the missing and missing. Oh. And we do have some of the decals. Pretty cool. <laughs> I like you. Like I always say, you never ever know what you're gonna find. Here's a box. Hazagawa. <laughs> this is taped up his <laughs> and it was open from the back end like this. Oh that cracks me up. Oh so either someone yanked out all the stuff in there or his 1994 on there. So man maybe I don't know if they these paints are from 1994 or what. But this is a pretty good lineup, I'm telling you, these Roco mini tanks. Very cool. Let me do a quick flyover. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, I love Roco mini tanks. Now this guy got customized and I don't know, maybe I'll pull him apart someday and see if we got parts for other missing tanks and pieces that I got but look at all these beautiful beautiful Roco mini tanks there's one complete tank which is amazing and we got a Star Wars X fighter with pilot and this old guy a little shack some miniature pieces and parts and then we got all this paint and glue Test is glue and a Hazagawa hobby kit of a P-51 
P51K Mustang. Now, we only got one sprue on it and some decals, but we got a hobby knife and some glue and some thinner. So that was worth a buck. <laughs> Look at all these cool things. Hey, thanks for coming in to the military edition of the Toy Car Case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. Remember, hit the subscribe and like button. Oh, tell me if you had these things, because let me tell you, I had these things, and I love them. They were just so, so cool. Even pieces and parts are very cool to me. Rock on, my friends. Remember, Tester's paint is cool. Ah, hit that like button and subscribe. Wait for more stuff from the thrift store, and the next round is flea market finds. Oh, I can't wait to show you what I got. So much fun. And great people at the flea market. That's the best part for me, is just meeting all these cool people. Oh, here we are at the supper club. Johnny Roman is alter ego with some cool cars, and we will see you on the flip-flop. And maybe on the orange black top next time. Whew! Here's a sneak peek. Ah! <laughs> I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be!